So you chose uh, to go for the star flavor of the tutorial. So we will use the output that we already checked, which is the gene counts. And you maybe we will just have a look to understand what we are what we need to do to reformat this output. So I click outside, I go scroll down to the star counts, um, which are here. I just click on the first one, click on the eye to have a preview. And what I need to have at the end is just one line per gene and two columns, one with the ID, one with the counts. And what you can see is that on the first four lines, we have statistics, so we will need to discard this. And then we have the counts for the unstranded, the first strand and the second strand, and we only want uh, the unstranded. So we want to keep the two first columns and to remove the first four lines. So let's start with removing the, the statistics. So we will use a tool which is called a tail. So select last lines from a dataset tail. And then uh, what we want is to process the whole collection. So we process everything at once and we select the counts. So in my case, it's 43 collect collection on collection 26 reads per gene. I click here. And then what I want is to keep, not keep the last n lines because I don't know how many lines there are, but I will keep everything from this line on. So if you remember correctly, there were four um, lines with statistics. So we want to keep from line five. And then we run the tool. I go back to the history to check that it has been run. And we can see that we have one data, one collection that will be created. And even if it's not launched yet, we can do the second step, which is to cut, to keep only the two first columns. And so we will use uh, cut columns from a table. And here we need to give the, the number of the columns. So column one and column two, this is exactly what we want. And we want to do it on the output of the select last. So it's a collection and this is what is put by default. So I just run the tool. So perfect. Now I have my output. I just need to wait that the two tool are run. So the two jobs have finished and now I can check on the cut how it looks like. I look on the 77 and I can find back my first gene 732 with the 780 counts. So everything is perfect. I have files that I can use. So I will rename the collection. Just click on the pencil and I will rename it um, feature count like files. They save the new name when I go back to the history. Now I have my feature count like files. Another output that I will need in the part two is the size of each gene. And while a feature count will compute it uh, during the, the counting, there is a, a tool in Galaxy that uh, we can use to do that. It's called Gene Lens and GC content. So you may have two version. Um, so just here is version 1.1 and this is not the one we want. So if you click on the, on the small uh, cubes versions, you can switch to the 1.2. And now what we want to do is select a GTF, which is from my history. It's the same GTF as always. And what I want to compute is not the GC content and gene lens, just the gene lens. And then I run the tool. And this, uh, I can keep it for the second step. Now you will be able to join the, the video that I made for the feature count.